think we ended last time uh, with kind of a blocked version of this two-handed attack. Since then, I've given him a little bit of color. I felt maybe uh, pants were appropriate. <laughs> and uh, I've gone into spline. So this isn't a finished version yet. I want to get some feedback on this before I start to polish. Let's define some parameters for this shot before we go any further. I'm going to say that this is a player character animation, and I'm going to call this a two-handed light attack. And what I mean by light uh, is I want this attack to be quick and responsive. The player hits the button, the attack happens quickly. So I think we can break this shot up into three parts. Uh, we've basically got the anticipation, and I will say that happens over approximately seven to eight frames. So let's say here we have uh, the antic is seven frames. And then we have the actual attack, which probably somewhere around, say, 12 frames. These are approximate numbers here. And then the rest of the shot is our character recovering back to the idle pose. So I should write here, uh, recovery. And that was probably somewhere around, say, 22 frames. And remember, we're animating at 30 frames per second. So the antic, the anticipation, happens uh, about a quarter of a second. The actual attack is about a third of a second. And the recovery is about two-thirds of a second. So this happens very, very quickly. So... One thing I want to do here is take a look at what I like or what I was trying to accomplish while doing this shot. So the first three frames here, this part of the anticipation, the axe is hardly moving. And what I'm really trying to show here is uh, the weight of the axe and what is driving this part of the animation. So I think you can see his shoulder and his torso are really getting into this and even the right arm is straightening out. So that is driving and then it finally pulls our axe back. And the axe is still going back while the body is driving forward. And what's driving this attack? The hips are driving the attack. And the torso and the shoulders follow. So those are some of the things that I'm thinking about while I'm blocking this shot out. I'm trying to think about the weight of the axe and, and show that this axe is heavy. I'm thinking about what is the driving force and what are the objects that follow. And if we jump into Maya here, we can talk about some of the things that I do need to work on. Uh, the first thing that I'm seeing is right when he starts to swing forward. I got kind of this awkward, I mean part of it's the rig, but I think it's something I can improve. I got kind of this awkward little feel here going on between the hips and where it connects to the leg. Uh, I can probably play around with that and see if I can get that looking and feeling a little bit better. And then probably another thing I want to do is take a look at the axe swing, take a look at the arc on it and make sure that it's a smooth arc. And one thing that I can do uh, to help me with that is I've already attached uh, a little uh, piece of geometry at the end of the axe. And what I can do is select that, bring up my arc tracker, and create the arc. And what I probably want to do is, I probably don't want to hit the recovery, I probably just want to see what it's doing up to, say, you know, the swing. So that's say 17, and I probably want to see what it's doing once it starts, so I could actually override the time 
range here and say I want to just see from 7 to 17. And that cleans that up a little bit. So one thing that we're seeing is, you know, a somewhat smooth arc as it comes down. Uh, then I obviously have this attack happening very, very quickly, so you're not seeing any kind of an arc there. Uh, I'll have to see how well that plays out. I may need to put a frame between 12 and 13 and 13 and 14 so that we can get a full swing out of that. And then probably the last thing that's bugging me at the moment is the recovery just kind of all seems to happen at once. Everything's moving at the same time. I want to put some offset in there. And we'll finish up here by uh, teasing a little bit what we'll do next time. And this here is the blocking for a two-handed heavy attack. So I've got basically some of the basic poses out and uh, super rough at the moment. Well, once again, thank you for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.